it's time to fight for good, for glory, for soldiers! This video and my channel are sponsored by untap.gg. Do you want to look at what the stats are like for your decks? Want to look at what the stats are like for other people's decks? Do you want to know what people are playing and how to beat them? Want to get recommendations for draft picks? Want to have an overlay that tells you how many cards are left in your deck and which cards they are? All of that and more is on untap.gg, which you can find in the description of the video. Untap.gg really does help figure out, hey, maybe that version of the deck that I was building was good, but it kept losing against this one other deck. Maybe I should start playing this one other deck. Where do I find it? Untap.gg. You can check it out again in the description of the video. That's right, it's Soldier's Tribal. Soldier Tribal has gotten a lot of really good cards across the last few sets. Both Brothers War and Dominara United really helped push this to where it is now. This is, I think, the most popular best of one deck. Somebody was telling me that. But I brewed my own because it seemed fun. I love tribal decks. So this deck has a powerhouse of a one drop that offers card replacement. It's got some sweet three drops, which are removal, exiling things, growing things, and also giving you a little bit of board presence after a board wipe or after creature's trade, and card draw and evasion with the Sky Strike Officer. This deck also has a beautiful pile of two drops, including, well, the Soldier Lord, Valiant Veteran, another Soldier Lord, Harbin, who doesn't even need to attack to give you all of your creatures plus one plus one and flying, Denik, who's just generally a good card. He's Denik the Menace, he's, he's pretty good. Also a soldier, both as a spirit and as a human. By the way, this deck does have almost entirely humans. It does have a werewolf, which is only a human when it's a soldier, and then it just becomes a pure werewolf. Uh, it has a core right here, but it's almost a human tribal deck, which is a little strange. Um, this deck also is running a couple of not quite four copies of a card, because I don't feel like we need them. I've got a couple Destroy Evils. This is for Shuldred. I can fly over most things, but Shuldred still causes me trouble. Uh, we've got Sun Gold Sentinel, who hits a graveyard, cleans up those tenacious underdogs, and maybe even exiles a creature, so things like Corpse Appraisers don't have any targets. We've got Thalia and an alternate art Thalia here. Um, it's good against spells. Anything that's not a creature and is a spell gets taxed. Very nice for us, who only has a couple of those. Uh, we've got spitting out extras. We've got one guardian of Nubinalia who has this indestructible ability. I think if board wipes became more present in the meta, guardian of Nubinalia would probably go up in quantity. There's a lot of flexibility here. And uh, of course, Mural. Mural is amazing. They are just so good has a passive ability that stops your opponents from using abilities and counter spells on your turn. And whenever they attack, you end up doubling the number of soldiers you have because you spit out tons and tons of tokens. Meryl can go in for like the sacrifice shot and be like, all right, well now I've got eight one ones sitting back here. What are you gonna do about it? Seriously, great card. Uh, I'm only running two, though, because this is a low curve deck. It's an aggro deck, which means that we want to win hard and we want to win fast. So we're going to go into the queue and see if we can do a little bit of damage. Ooh, a beautiful curve of onesie, twosie, threesie, foursie here. That is a keep. Such a keep. Um, let's lead with Fortified Beachhead. This is not a cycle. This is just a blue-white land that enters untapped if you either reveal or control a soldier that also has a buff ability to give soldiers you control plus one plus one until end of turn. I don't really know why this land exists. I feel like it didn't need to exist, but I'm happy that it's here. All right, recruitment officer going in, followed by Denik. Denik is a 2-3 soldier with lifelink who makes it so graveyards can't be touched. Aw, and that's a little puppy dog! And notice my opponent also played a Mishra's Foundry. This is a creature land. I don't like it in this deck because we do have some pretty strict color requirements, but I do think it's a cool card. Uh, how about Siege Veteran? We're gonna follow up here by putting a plus one plus one counter on the Recruitment Officer so we can swing through this little teeny tiny doggy. 
I am wondering if this is going to be this Invoke Despair deck I've seen a bunch of, because I ran into it like three times earlier today. Not Invoke Despair, sorry, uh, Invoke Justice. They put the portal to Phyrexia in the graveyard and then they bring it back. Huh, or they could kill my Siege Veteran. That was rude. How about Mural? Mural feels good. Swing in for another five. And hope that the board isn't wiped here. Ah, nope, it's Brutal Cathar. And they're taking out Meryl, which is a pretty good idea. But what if I said I really, really, really wanted my Meryl on the battlefield? I said really so many times. This makes a board wipe from them much worse, but the fact that they played Brutal Cathar makes me feel like they're probably a bit more creature-oriented. Guess we'll find out. Uh, they pass to my turn, and then I think they realized, wait a minute, I can't cast spells or activate abilities on my opponent's turn. This is bad for me. You win. I sure do! I sure do! And we rank up because the season just reset because it's a new month. Happy December, everyone! Why is it December, everyone? Why is it December? I love a turn one recruitment officer. I also like Brutal Cathars. Sky Strike Officer, it draws us cards, it makes us tokens. Really great card. Hmm, they took a mulligan with their completed Ajani sleeves. Let's go ahead and show them what we've got. It's a two one. It's a little guy! <gasps> and a medium-sized guy! Thalia! As shown by Mina Harker. The, I feel like the Dracula alt arts are a little confusing to some players. I feel like they could have gotten rid of these. I'm going to go to combat, swing in with both, and try to lay down the Sky Strike Officer. So far, our opponent has shown Rakdos colors, but hasn't cast any spells. Oh, make that Grixis. Grixis is a very popular deck right now, and I believe it's been performing extremely well in best of three because it has some great sideboard choices. Go for the throat. My gophers. Oh no. Since I have two Brutal Cathars, I'm just going to play one. It has nothing to exile here, but if our opponent passes through their turn and doesn't do anything, it becomes nighttime. This actually stops being a soldier, but it becomes a very, very good attacker. They did play something. They threw down the Corpse Appraiser, exiling a creature from the graveyard, the Sky Strike Officer, and getting a card in hand. Hmm, I really want to attack my opponent, so I'm going to use this other Brutal Cathar to scooch that out of the way. It does mean that if they kill this, they will get the enter the battlefield again, but also, they're at four life. And I like that. I like you're at four life. Blood Tithe Harvester comes with a blood. Let's sacrifice that in order to discard and draw a new card, a fresh hot one. And I am going to play Miro. We're putting all the cards on the table here. What do you want to cast? Can you cast anything? Can you block anything? There we go. It's the Corpse Appraiser coming back from the dead. Mural forces our opponents to act on their turn, which is pretty nice. And I am going to attack with everything. This will get them down to two life. It'll take out the Blood Tithe Harvester, which I think is a threat to Mural. And something about them being at two sounds really good to me. We've got a little guy in hand, too. A bit of removal. Removal that can't hit the corpse appraiser, but still pretty nice. Maybe they'll drop down a shouldered. If they have a shouldered, the downside is they will be able to draw a card on their turn gain a little bit of life. The upside is, before I draw, I can kill her. Mm, they're thinking about it. 
They're wondering, where do I go from here? Maybe they have some removal in their hand and they're trying to decide, do I use it now? Do I build up my board with more creatures? What do I go for? Stop hovering over my creatures. You know what they do. And if they do nothing, they can't do anything on my turn. And also the Cathar grows. There's actually one thing they can do. The channel lands are activated abilities of lands in hand. And you can still use those with Mural on the battlefield. Soul transfer! They just went straight up for the exile on Mural because they know how scary they are. And that's legit! Um, have a recruitment officer. I, I don't get to attack in here. Some wastes. And we're probably going to activate this. Blood for the blood gods. Uh-oh. I feel like you have a cut down. Yikes! Oh, no, and we whiffed! The recruitment officer failed to find a recruit. There goes my last creature. We lose two life, then two life again, and they draw two cards. Sun Gold Sentinel's gonna let me boop the graveyard. Um, the main things I would normally hit are actually not in the grave right now, so I'm going to go for the Harvester. Hello? Oh, and goodbye. Another Invoke Despair. What a powerful card in black. Uh, I was running mono black for a long time, but... With Grixis having all the fixing it has now, you can run this in a three-color deck. And that's wild. Okay, Recruitment Officer! What do you even have? I, I don't actually get to activate this here, because if they play another creature, they'll be able to crew. And I need to be able to kill the Bank Buster to stay alive, because removal on this would be bad. Very, very, very bad. Oh, hi, Shelly Belly. So the Reckoner Bank Buster probably coming in here? I, I think crewing with the Corpse Appraiser and attacking with both is the right move. Even though it does leave them open to us doing something, they don't know that yet. Okay, passing two attackers. They're swinging in just with the Corpse Appraiser, which we will not block. We're gonna destroy Shaldred. And unfortunately, they are going to have a creature to block no matter what. So we're pretty much out of luck here. I can activate the Fortify Beachhead. Denik is cool, but not quite enough. My stabilization, not high, not high. By the way, Denik is a really good card against things like Corpse Appraiser, because it means that they blank this, uh, this Enter the Battlefield ability. Pretty important. Alright, here comes the Bank Buster. I'm not gonna double block the Corpse Appraiser. Gains me two life, leaves me at one. Leaves me with a creature on the battlefield. Do you have something? Okay, Fable and the Mirror Breaker makes the 2-2. Two, two. Oh no, it's two of them! Siege Veteran, 
You're just not quite enough. Not quite enough. And there's nothing else I can get either that's going to be enough here. We are going to go for Siege Veteran. There it is. Put a counter on yourself. Attack in. They have to block. This dies, which gives us a 1-1 one, one token. And that's it. That's all we got. That's as far as we can go. So I think we can hit our opponent with a good game. They know exactly what we have because this is in the graveyard. Too many corpses were appraised. Well, go for it. Finish me off. They've got to have removal, right? No? I was thinking they had to have removal. With, with two discard and draw twos, that's so much filtering. Okay, well, here they go. Corpse Abrazer and the Bank Buster are going to swing in again. Oh, and, um... Gix's command. They had removal. It was funny removal. But they did have removal. Angry Fox is going first. We have a not so impressive two drop, but some really nice three and four drops in hand. I will keep. And I will also write a note down in my notebook. And the note will say... My opponent's name is Angry Fox. That's actually what it said. <laughs> Ooh, Broker's Hideout. Grabbing some blue. Interesting form of fixing there. Broker's hideout. Are you going to get more blue? Or are you going to get white? Green? Blue again. Okay. I have this feeling that our opponent is running the white angel that lets you replay permanents from your graveyard. Because that's, that's one of the reasons you see these sacrificing lands be played. What am I feeling? Sky Strike Officer or Siege Veteran? I want Siege Veteran first. Let's see if they counter it. Oh, they didn't counter it, but they did put it back in my hand, which gets them a scry. Where's it gonna go? Top or bottom? It's a tricky one. I wonder if it's one of those, I really want this card, but I don't have enough lands for it. Or, I've, I've had that kind of decision before. Sometimes scrying is difficult. Ooh, the Virtuoso. It's one of those decks. Illuminator Virtuoso is a very cool card because it doesn't necessarily get bigger when you target it with a spell, but the connive you can set up. So yeah, I'm going to draw and discard something here. I think that Meryl is going to be a really important card in this matchup, assuming they don't get just bounced back into my hand. All right, so they're slipping to grow the Illuminator Virtuoso. Eventually this may end up becoming unblockable and being really, really strong. Um, I am... Probably going to attack in with just the resolute reinforcements on this turn, leaving this back to be a chump blocker, or attacking in with both. This is six damage already. And with the Homestead Courage in the graveyard, I expect it to be even bigger. Combat research. Going to make this unblockable. They have a two turn clock here. Very scary. 
Hmm. But I see you eyeing my other cards. March of Swirling Mist. They really wanted that damage. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not the unblockable one. This is the deal damage draw card one. Well then. Sun Gold Sentinel, please remove the a Homestead Courage from my opponent's graveyard. Siege Veteran! I don't know. Make Mural bigger. Everybody, attack! And create an army of wee baby one ones. Homestead Courage, they're getting bigger. I mixed up my auras there. They discarded a drake. And they'll have lethal if they can get through my blockers. There's ways to give flying, there's ways to give unblockable, all of which you'll see in the stack. Okay, Angry Fox. Can you line up for lethal? Storm Chaser Drake, a little guy. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. These two are just eyeing each other. And they're gonna draw a card because they've targeted the Storm Chaser Drake with a spell. And with one blue mana remaining. Sorry, two blue mana remaining. What's coming up? It's a chump block. Chump it up. And they're going for the shore up on my turn. Drawing a card. They can't play spells on my turn. Mural is probably going to die in combat here, though, so I'm actually going to go ahead and play Thalia first. And let's go ahead and get a counter on Sungold Sentinel. Everybody in! Take out... I don't know. Um... Storm Chaser Drake. The reason, by the way, I'm not playing the Sky Strike Officer first is because I feel like they may have some cards in their deck which make this fly. And I want this to be a secret surprise I can block in the air. There's also probably some ways to give this 12 power across the next turn. Okay, in we go. Meryl dies. Rest in pepperonis. They go down to three. Here is the Sky Strike Officer. We have loads of blockers and we're taxing their spells, their non-creature spells by one. This is big. Take up the shield. Getting lifelink and indestructible. Can you get there? Three mana remain. Agri Fox. Thinking through the lines, trying to get there. Maybe just hoping I don't block. The math is happening. In fact, the math is happening. The will doing math emote is very important. Nope, they're just, uh, they're just swirling over here. They 
phased out their virtuoso. I guess that's a concession if ever there was one. Um, no, you you can hit me. That's that's fine. Four is not lethal. Let's draw a couple of cards. Let's draw a couple of cards. Let's see, I have to I have to draw the cards. And I have to win the game. Looking like a mono white deck here. Sky Strike Officer, what are you doing in this hand? We're gonna keep this. Oh, concealing curtains. This could be some tricksy mono black. Knight of Dusk Shadows. Oh, your opponents can't gain life. Well, I do have a tiny bit of life gain in this deck, so probably smart to have something like that out on the battlefield. I'm gonna go for Mina, which is Thalia in disguise. And uh, I also want to bring up Resolute Reinforcements into Valiant Veteran gets me the most power on the board. But I don't think it's quite what I need here. Will you make me discard a card? I think you will. I think you're going to make me drop either Brutal Cathar or Miral. All right, they dropped Brutal Cathar, which is actually kind of nice for me because I got a land. And I'm going to take three damage here. And here comes a plant. Ooh, Siege Veteran off the top. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to go ahead and put a counter on Mina and swing in. Knight of Dust Shadows uh, can definitely trade with the recruitment officer, but because we have Siege Veteran out, we get a 1-1! One -one. Yay, 1-1s! One Everybody likes 1-1s. One Ugh. Soldred. Soldred! Soldred the Stabilizer. We don't have any removal in hand, which is bad. And frustrating. I don't like you, Shelly. Nobody likes Shelly Belly. I think Miral or going for the double spell would be good here. Sky Strike to start getting it in the air is also nice. Let's just go for Miral. They know what's in my hand. Again, two. We do have good blockers though for their current um, creatures if they wanted to attack in. Okay, soul transfer. There goes Meryl. We've drawn, and thus we lose more life. Bring you up to five, and put the other one on this siege veteran. We do have some destruction for Shouldred in our deck, but it is hard to find, hard to come by. Shouldred the Apocalypse. Also, healed them back up to 21 already. Hi, Gix. Hey, Harbin! Okay, I'm not playing Harbin this turn. I'm playing Harbin next turn. We're gonna try to get Surprise Lethal. So this is the only card they don't know about. And nobody tell them about it. We're down to eight. But we're going to go wide, really, really wide. Resolute reinforcements. And here's hoping there's no instant speed removal. Harbin down. And everybody here is a soldier, which means we attack in. They get plus one, plus one, and flying. I'm sorry, Shulvin. What's that? You don't have reach? What a shame. Siege veteran, valiant veteran, Thalia, Sungold Sentinel, and a little bit of land. I'll take it. And I'll play the planes. Ooh, mono red. I think we can handle some mono red. We're gonna pretend we're mono white to start, though. Let's see, Sun Gold Sentinel, Mina Harker, and Valiant Veteran. We're gonna start with Thalia. Oh, wait a minute! It's not mono red. It's red, black. 
Ooh, nice. And I'm gonna pretend I'm mono white. You know, just to even things out. Siege veteran! Make my Mina grow! And, um, I guess I could block. Probably a good idea. I wonder if it's going to be Grixis. I, I don't know. With Etching of Kamano, I feel like it's probably not a Grixis deck. I'm going to continue my I'm Mono White, Don't Question It with a Mural. I'm going to put this counter on Mina and swing in. Because of etching of Kamano, if my creatures die, they don't die. They go to exile, but only if they receive damage. All right, so they killed the siege veteran. Um, that's smart. Fabled the mirror breaker. Nice. I guess this is just like a Rakdos Smackdos. And now I reveal we are more than just this. We're blue and white, even though don't, don't question the lack of blue. In we go. Mural and Mina slash Thalia. Hmm. No blocks at all. I was ready to use the Iganjo if they had something tricksy, but there's very few tricksy things they can do. Let's mural here. Awoo. If board wipe, then sad. <laughs> Go for the throat. Killing Meryl! Rude. But also probably smart. Another Kumano facing Kakazan. Oh, sweet! It's Harbin! Harbin is going to buff our team because we have five soldiers swinging in, and that is lethal. Thanks, Harbin. You're a cool guy. You know, for being Urza's son. Probably. Not necessarily Urza's son. It's debated in the novel. Johnny Walker Blue. Cute name. Uh, this is a keepable hand, so indeed I will keep it. Wonder if our opponent drinks Johnny Walker. I don't remember, like, which colors are what price for Johnny Walker. Is Blue Label the unaffordably expensive one? Or is it in the middle? I'm sure somebody in my chat will know. Ooh, a Catelda? I'm gonna name Soldier here and play a Soldier here. Oh, um, Monkey in a Top Hat says blue is the expensive one. Neat. Oh, is this gonna be Five Color Legends featuring Joda? I think it is. Because, uh, look at that lineup. Girl, look at that lineup. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to exile somebody. Katilda, get out of here! Oh, right, protection from werewolves. Fine, I didn't want to be your friend anyway. Maybe a little. Stupid protection from werewolves being relevant. I'm the werewolf! Lagrella, another exiling human. Also a soldier, by the way. Oh. Oh. Lagrella's taking the Brutal Cathar captive. While oh, these two swing in. Well then. I think we need to be stronger. 
still want to go for the Resolute Reinforcements? Or the Double Valiant? I think I want to go for the Resolute Reinforcements. They're just going to activate Katilda instead. Two two twos. And we're gonna go ahead and name Soldier here. Do I feel like Sky Strike for a little bit of card draw? Or Siege Veteran. I'm going to go for Valiant Veteran first. Then Sky Strike Officer. And while I do have an attack with Guardian of New Benalia, I'm not going to take it. I want to draw cards! Two of them, in fact! Alright, Katilda's buffed up their battlefield. They attack? No! It's time to draw! Okay, well, almost time to draw. And of course, our dream is that we get a Harbin. And then we attack in the air over their heads. They gain nothing. They lose everything. Ah, uh, just two people holding up activated abilities. There's a land. And another Valiant Veteran. So Destroy Evil could come in handy because I can kill Lagrella. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this out. I'm going to swing in. I'm going to swing in. I'm going to swing in. Thank you. With you and you, I'm going to enlist the Resolute Reinforcement. Get that scry. Mm-hmm. Recruitment Officer and Denik. Um, I don't feel I really need either of those, but the Recruitment Officer is very fun because I'm able to activate it. I'm going to put that on top. We do have the activation of Fortified Beachhead. We have the ability to discard and buff using Valiant Veteran. We have Destroy Evil. I'm trying to leave myself open here. What I want them to do is block with and buff Thalia. Okay, they just, they took it. Huh. Okay. Post-combat Valiant Veteran. Tap, tap, tap. Tap tap tap. Tip it tap it tap it tap it tap tap tap. Play the recruitment officer. And still hold the destroy evil. The destroy evil is really important because if they do get Joda, and I'm still assuming, by the way, that this is not Bant humans, that this is five color humans. That we are able to either destroy Joda or hit Lagrella to free the Brutal Cathar to then exile Joda. It really depends on how this 
turn goes, because I think this is going to be their last. Ajar, loyal bodyguard, can give indestructible to legendary creatures. Very important. Means tower, they're just cycling. They name human on secluded courtyard and surrender. They never found their Joda. Cool. Works for me. Mental misstep. Hello there. You are my opponent as I play my Azorius soldiers. I have Thalia on two, Cathar, and Skystrike officer here, so we're going to keep this. And you have a really cool sleeve. A really cool sleeve. Look at that sleeve, it's really, really cool. I actually think that for mind games, it makes more sense to lead with island as just a way of saying, oh, what could it be? It could be anything. It could even be an unsummon, or I guess the equivalent fading hope in this format. Soldier, okay, so this is the mirror match. Um, I'm fine with that. Would you care to trade? The answer was yes, Skystrike officer. Sky Strike Officer. Hmm. Perfectly symmetrical violence, you say? Well, my perfectly symmetrical violence only happens on my turn. Recruitment Officer, it's a soldier! Strike strike officer, it makes a soldier. Now remember, they can't do things on my turn. Thank you, Meryl. So how about, let's see, they, they could I Ganjo. Valiant veteran, get me out of I Ganjoing range. Harbin, for Harbin. Attacking with everything. Making five tokens. Winning the game? Sorry. Seven tokens. I did the math wrong. Behold my soldiers! I will keep. And hopefully we'll get a blue source eventually, but I'm not in any rush. <gasps> Recruitment officer on turn one! Nice! I wonder if this is a Mardu deck. I feel like Sundown Pass is just not a card I see very often because the Mardu decks I tend to see are focused in black. Oh, maybe it is some sort of an aggro deck. Uh, no blocks here because I think we're going to be playing Mina next turn. There we go, Thalia. She who first strikes and taxes spells. I guess it's Boros aggro, nice. There was a brief period of time right around rotation, where we saw this kind of deck getting a lot of play. It was kind of cool. Um, well, in we go, trading blows. Is it time to a woo? Ah, it's nighttime. What a beautiful time it is. Do you have anything you'd like to do on my turn? Well, now you don't get to do it. Mural's out, baby! If they cast two spells per turn, this will flip over and they'll get to exile something else. Okay, cool. They played Soul Partition. Soul Partition, by the way, is very much a mono-white bounce spell. Uh, I, I find it to be a very cool design for a spell. And I'd like to see more things like it. It's a neat card. I wish it weren't rare. Oh, someone's getting exiled. Valiant veteran, get out of here. You silly ghosts. It's fine. I have more valiant veterans. I'm going to attack in with the recruitment officer. My valiant veteran, ever so valiant, ever so blocking. <gasps> Sunrise Cavalier, it's daytime. 
and play with fire on the veteran. Oof. Hello? Hi. That does have haste. And they train! And I... Double block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You didn't expect that, did you? And now, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, if we had one more! If we had one more! Guess we'll have to play a little bit more defensively here. We're gonna take Brutal Cathar. Throw it on the Cavalier. And I still think I should attack. I'm going to attack with the recruitment officer. I'm going to give you the card draw. Three damage. If they can find a play with fire. Oh no! They found a play with fire. It was the second card down, though, so you know what? Wait. Um. Don't tell them. Don't tell them that can go face. Okay? Are we all in agreement? We're not telling them? Okay, good. Okay, fine. They have to block two things because of the power of the valiant veteran in our graveyard. Or maybe they have removal? Nope! They die. Cool. Ooh, it's Harbin time! I'm gonna lead with Deserted Beach because I have nothing on turn one and it comes in tapped until turn three. Rojo! Playing Yoshin Frontliner. Okay, so that is also going to be a soldier stack. Um, this as a pick for soldiers, I find to be not my favorite. I like the focus on more of the two drops and three drops that are extremely powerful over the one drops like the frontliner. There it is, coming in. Buffing its buddy, the valiant veteran. I do think that you can build this deck super aggressive the way our opponent has. It's just not as much to my taste. Ooh, Brutal Cathar gonna take out the Siege Veteran. And hitting for five. Hey, Meryl. I'd like you to be out on the battlefield soon. What would I rather have? Denix, Sky Strike Officer. I'm gonna go with the Sky Strike Officer here. And because we have second Harbin, I can definitely take a trade here. Recruitment Officer! No attacks. Okay. I'm going to buff up my battlefield. This also gives me the activation on Sky Strike Officer to draw a card. And they're getting the activation on their recruitment officer to probably get a creature. And they got Brutal Cathar. It's a good one. One, two, three. Siege Veteran. It is now nighttime. Hmm. Do I go for the double spell? Flip that over, let them exile something else, or this single spell? I think we go for the single spell. I think it's safer. I'm going to attack with the Sky Strike Officer because when I do, I get a wee little tutu! It being nighttime means that they're not getting another exile here. And if they play this one, they also won't get an exile off it until the next time it flips today, which I guess won't be anytime soon. So good game, fellow soldier deck. Um, they saw the Harbin, we have the Harbin. This next turn I was going to attack in in the air and have lethal. If you're wondering why did they concede right there, it's because we had won the game. Also, they can't interact on my turn, which makes interrupting it difficult. Very, very difficult. 
Well, I suppose that's gonna be it for our soldiers deck. If you'd like my deck list, you can find it in the description of this video. And if you'd like to see me playing it live, I don't know, maybe come over to my channel, twitch.tv slash Amazonian, where I play a whole lot of magic almost every single day of the week. I'm just saying, I'm there. Come hang out with me. Okay, please? Thank you. Thank you.